Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews. That was an aircraft calling up on the radio scanner. The scanner, the one I bought on eBay for 15 bucks, pretty cheap, second hand, does the job perfectly. And with these things, you can hear a full-size aircraft from miles away with the standard aerials. And if you've got a full-size aircraft with a reasonable radio, you're talking 10, 15 miles away. So long before they become an issue, especially if you're flying FPV, you need to know what else is out there, what full-size aircraft might be in the airspace because we don't want accidents. Because if somebody hits a full-size aircraft with an FPV model, the game is over. Everybody suffers, so we need to be very safe when we're flying. Anywhere there could be full-size aircraft, which is almost everywhere. So in this first of my safety videos on FPV, I'm talking about scanners, aircraft band scanners. Now, as I say, you can pick these up on eBay for a song. $15, $30. So why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you pick one up? You know, just that little extra bit of safety. Now, a few things to watch if you're shopping on eBay. Make sure they come with an antenna because a lot of the really cheap ones, they've lost the aerial. So they say, oh, you know, it has got an aerial. It's not a big deal. You can make your own aerial. I mean, you know, a piece of wet string works on half these things. But it's nice if you've got the stock whippy rubber antenna aerial there. And this one hasn't got a cap on the end. But it doesn't matter. It still works. So antennas, <clears throat> quite worthwhile having those. Also, make sure you get one with a belt clip because it's much more convenient if you can just hook these on your belt and they go with you wherever you go. You sit down, it's still there. You wander away, it's still there. This one didn't have a belt clip. It's not quite so useful. I have to leave it on the ground. And sometimes they're not that loud. The cheaper ones, they're nah, not a lot of audio power, so it's much more convenient if it's actually on your belt. You can even use an earbud if you don't want to disturb other people. Nice and simple. Other thing to watch is that a lot of these older ones, the battery's knackered in them. And so they'll say, yeah, it's fine. And when you get it, it runs for 20 minutes and the battery goes flat. Not too much of an issue. I've replaced the batteries in both of these because they were both really sad. This one, I've got some Hobby King 2300 LS uh, low self-discharge nickel metal hard drive batteries because the radio itself comes with a little battery holder. Just spring out the old ones, spring in the new ones. Simple as that piece of cake. It only cost me, what, five, five bucks or something to replace the batteries. This one has a battery pack that's actually heat shrunk and soldered together. But again, okay. I just okay. used some cheap uh, batteries, five, soldered them in, heat shrunk it. Good as new. Works fine. This, you know, these will last for a couple of days on a charge, which is great. And if they do go flat, well, it only takes a half an hour and hour to charge them up and again for a day's use. So that's brilliant. Now, say so things to watch. A lot of these scanners they advertise and they say, oh, it goes from you know um, uh, 20 megahertz up to 450 megahertz. But you got to make sure it also includes the aviation band. Some of them, especially some of the Uniden models, Uniden, um, they don't seem to include the aviation band. They skip it for some reason. So. I've got the, this is a uh, Radio Shack, this is a Realistic, both of these cover the aviation band. In fact, this one's got a little button with an aeroplane on it to show that you can press it and go to the aviation band. Also, once you've got your scanner, check in your area to find out what the operational frequency is, because it varies from area to area. It's no good listening to the wrong channel on the aviation band, you won't hear what you need to know. So, what you need to find out is the operating frequency here in Tokoro, New Zealand, it's 119.1, and it's easy enough to program that in there. If they don't come with a manual, most of the manuals are online, and at risk it's pretty simple, it's fairly intuitive. So program it up to the channel or channels that are used in your area, turn it on when you start flying, leave it on all day. You'll know, you'll hear if there is a full-size aircraft in the vicinity, but don't get too reliant on them. They're not always going to be able to tell you whether there's an aircraft in the area. Some aircraft don't have radios, some don't use them, some people are stupid. And so we need to make sure that the, um, they're an adjunct to safety. They will warn us if there's an aircraft in the area, if that aircraft uses its radio, but they won't guarantee you'll know. But when it comes to safety, every little bit counts. And for $15 or $30, it's damn cheap insurance against being caught out, especially if you're flying beyond visual line of sight, when an aircraft that's close to your model may not even be visible to you. So got to keep the regulators off our backs, got to show them we're uh, responsible and that we're capable of thinking seriously about safety. So. Go onto eBay, find one of these, and buy it. And most importantly, use it. So that's the first of the safety videos on FPV from RC Model Reviews. Lots more coming up. I'm going to cover stuff like flight planning, reconnoitering your flight area, using strobes, using the right gear, testing, all the sort of stuff you need to know if you're going to fly FPV safely. And so hopefully by the time the summer round rolls around in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll be all set to go and you'll be able to fly safely without endangering anybody or any property. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got comments or questions, put them on the section below on the YouTube page. 
and I'll see you again very soon with another safety video on RC Model Reviews. Traffic killing, take go Indian, turn down, one, three, one, three.